A growing homeless encampment right next to an elementary school has some Chula Vista parents very concerned. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. Kirsten has the night off. Families are concerned about safety and the fencing that separates the park and the school. You can see a bunch of the homeless tents right there in that park. CBS 8's Regina Urita is working for you. She talked to families and the city about some long term solutions. City leaders, homeless advocates and concerned neighbors are all split on this issue. I want to show you what's going on. So right next to me is the Harborside Elementary School. You can actually see the playground where students play now right next door from that elementary school. Right behind me, you can see the homeless encampment and all that is separating these two locations is a chain link fence like this one. Harborside Park in Chula Vista has become an area where unsheltered people set up their campsite either on the park or near it. But recently, the number of homeless making their way to the park has grown to dozens. Now families in the area have brought up safety concerns as the park is located just a few feet away from Harborside Elementary School, where children as young as five are attending. Once I drive there, like, unfortunately, they're drinking drugs and... You know, it's like so close to the school. It's not just safe for any parent. You know, you never know what's, what can happen. There's kids that walk uh, by themselves. I went to Harborside Park and witnessed more than 10 campsites throughout the park. I also noticed chain link fences separating the homeless park from the school. But chain link fencing does not provide enough privacy, which is why the city has increased enforcement. On the phone, a spokesperson for the city tells me Harborside Park has become an ongoing problem. They also say they recognize the urgency of this issue and will be adding more fencing and screening. While some parents are concerned, others say it's wrong to shelter their children from the harsh reality that is San Diego's cost of living. This is real life. They must know that there's people, maybe they're not prepared or they prefer, but they choose to do that. That you lift them up out of obscurity, God. Despite growing concerns from neighbors, church organizations gather every month to provide resources to those living on the streets. There's others that really want to get help and get out, and we have people on our ministry team that that are connected to a lot of resources. Chula Vista is in dire need of more parks, but the city says in the next couple of weeks, they will possibly decide whether to close Harborside Park. For CBS 8, I'm Regina Urita.